I also want to quickly say I am in no way bragging or showing off. I sold some stuff on eBay in order to have the funds to purchase this purse before I pur purchased this purse. I shouldn't have to disclose that, but I did choose to part ways with some stuff in my personal collection to be able to splurge on this bag and bring it home and treat myself for my birthday coming up. And I'm so happy that I did, but I hope that you guys enjoy the video. Please keep that in mind and let's get into it. Hi guys, so I am super excited to be filming this video that I've been waiting for this day to come. I have wanted a Dooney and Burke bag for years, but I was always telling myself I was going to wait till they released the Dalmatian one, and they released one. They actually released three, but I only bought one. A bitch is not trying to go broke. <laughs> We're going to open it today, <laughs> and I'm super excited. So as part of the 60th anniversary, Dooney and Berg collaborated with Disney to put out three Dalmatian based bags. So there was the crossbody bag which retailed for $1.98 as well as the tote bag which re retailed for $2.98 and the satchel bag which also retailed for $2.98. Um, these all came out February 8th and they dropped at 3am EST. And I managed to get the one that I wanted. As of the date of me filming this video, the crossbody has sold out and it's no longer available, but maybe they will restock it in the future. Keep an eye out if you guys are interested in it. So we're going to open it. You guys are going to see my reaction to opening the bag. I'm going to do lots of close-ups, give a little review and my opinion on it. I do collect a lot of lounge fly bags and I do also own a variety of coach purses as well, specifically the Dalmatian ones. So I'm excited to see how this one compares in terms of quality and size. Let's see how this looks. Oh, I don't want to scratch the bag. Okay, so far I'm just seeing the Disney Store tissue paper. It's in there. This is what I see. So we have <laughs> it's just right there I thought that it was this little thing oh no it's not so we have the classic Disney store tissue paper I'm gonna save because I am selling a lot of stuff on eBay right now um, I actually was able to afford this from selling some of my lounge fly collection so that's why I was able to splurge on this purse because I was selling stuff to be able to buy it. I don't want to just like break the suspense, but oh, oh, honey, it is huge. <laughs> This is all that I've ever wanted in a Dooney and Berg bag. They had released a dog bag and it had several dogs from Disney and I debated on buying that one because it had Pongo and Purdy in the forefront. I didn't really like the art style and how the dogs were drawn, but I hadn't seen anything about the Dalmatians so I always knew that that existed and I was always considering it. I'm so happy that I never got that bag and that I waited for this bag. Kind of shocked it doesn't come in a bag like coach bags do, but I guess coach bags, if you don't buy them at the outlet, they're like 600 plus dollars, so I guess that makes sense, but I always get mine from the outlet because I'm not paying that much. Oh my God, this is the bag compared to my head. You can see the like receipt with the price. You can see the bag, the handles are pointed up and they wrapped it with this tissue so it doesn't lose its shape and this is the back with the tag as well 
I do have every intention of actually using this bag. I did buy a protectant spray because it's a white bag. So I'm going to do some more research on that and protect this bag before I actually start using it. The pattern's on the bottom too. It has feet and the dog pack. I did not expect that. I thought that the bottom was going to be black like the stripe. All right, let's, let's get into this. Also, so happy that you get free shipping because they wanted to charge me $48 to ship this. And if there wasn't a way to get free shipping, I would not have bought this bag because I was in no way paying $48 for shipping. <laughs> I just... This is what it looks like upon opening. Again, I'm gonna do better close-ups of everything better details of the dogs but this is what it looks like as i am opening it i love how long the zipper pulls are how easy it is to take the strap styrofoam off because it actually kind of has like a line and you just kind of naturally rip it really safe packaging but it's also super easy to remove zipper pulls are really long. I really like that. Also super excited about the um, little like ID tag. Oh, oh my God. It is creased, which is a little disappointing. I wish it wasn't creased for how expensive it was, but I get that that happens. So I don't know if you guys will be able to see how it's actually creased down the middle but it's a really nice tag. And then on the back, it does also say Disney, Dooney, and Burke. I love the black straps with the little red accent on them. So flattering. Let's see how the zippers work. Satisfying. I don't wanna take all the stuffing out because I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be spraying this. And I think I'd like to leave the stuffing in it to like get a little more structured when I do spray it. Interesting. It has this little strap on the inside. I'm not exactly sure why. It's actually sewn into the side of the bag. So you can't take it out. So it is a really long crossbody strap. Don't mind my sweatpants, please. But if you wear it crossbody, it kind of sits right on my hip. I'm 5'7", just for reference. The inside is solid red. There's a zipper pocket on this side right up here, as well as a uh, pocket, normal pocket. And then on the other side, there are two pockets. I know people are kind of iffy when it comes to luxury purses. I know people always have an opinion on how people spend their money. At the end of the day, if it's something that's going to make you happy, if it's something that you're passionate about, if it's something that you just want to collect, or if it's something that you want to use, you do whatever makes you happy and what you can afford at the end of the day. I think the quality is phenomenal. I think that it's stunning. It's definitely not going to get worn or anything. I do see it getting maybe stained. It's really good quality. It's a really good size. I love the size of the zipper pulls. I think they did a really good job with that. I love the Dooney and Burke logo on the front. I love how small it is. I'm surprised at how small it is because the Loungefly ones are so large. I love that there's a zipper right on the outside as well. There's so many zipper pockets, so much storage. I love the little luggage tag on it as well. I love the accent colors, the gold and the red. I think they did a really good job with this bag. I'm honestly so impressed. And I love the art style that they chose and the different puppies, I like the bones and the dog bowls. And I really also appreciate that they kept the collar colors correct because I hate when people end up doing yellows and oranges and greens and like the collars are blue and red. I think they did an awesome job with it. I'm so happy that I own it. I love it so much and I'm very grateful. So honestly, 10 out of 10. I've never seen a Dooney Burke bag in person. I don't have any stores near me that sell it. I will soon. They're opening one very, very soon. That's going to carry Dooney and Burke. 
I just, I love it so much. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys own any Dooney and Burke bags. Again, I am going to use this bag. It wasn't just for collector purposes. I do want to use it. I love it so much. I'm going to take really good care of it. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts.